In this video, we're going to show you how to build a responsive uh, horizontal scrolling table with the forms and tables design system. And we're going to do that from a single cell component. And this is uh, the outcome. So we have that horizontal scrolling and the fixed uh, the first column is fixed with that slight drop shadow. Okay, so to start building this table, we're going to download this Forms and Tables basic design system. So this is a system that I created and it gives us access to all of these different table components. And I tend to build everything from a, a single cell and I'll show you how to do that. But we also have table columns built out into components and a basic table built out. So this is all in the forms and tables basic design system. So um, open that in Figma. And then what we're going to do is go here. So under assets, you click this and um, you're going to want to probably look in your teams and then it will show access to all of your design systems uh, that you you can add. So add the forms and tables basic design system and then we are going to start off. So in order to start, um, we have this forms and tables. We click on it and we're gonna, we're gonna go to tables. So we're gonna scroll down and find tables. Looks like it's alphabetical. Um, and then we're gonna drag in the table cell. Um, so this is the first step and it, um, make sure you're on design here and it defaults to extra extra small let's do medium so we have this and now we're going to duplicate it so i click uh, option and drag on my mac and then we're going to duplicate what we just did by clicking command d so i'm going to do this um, a few more times so command d all right we have all of our cells so this first one is going to be a header. So this is text. We're going to switch that off and we're going to do header and then we're going to give it a background color. Let's do um, our gray four and then all of these others will leave uh, the same for now. And now we're going to select everything and uh, sh click shift a to create that auto layout and we'll name this um, call col for column so now as you stretch it out you notice that it's filling the container so make sure that each cell is uh filling the container here so if it isn't just click fill container for everything a uh, way to select everything is to select the parent um uh, frame and then click enter and then you could go and do a bulk change to make sure it is fill container so now that we have this column, this is the secondary building block um, of our table. So now we are going to just drag out another column. So I duplicated that. And then again, Command D, I'm going to duplicate that a few times. Now we have all of our columns. Now I'm going to again create another auto layout around this. So uh, Shift A. And now we have it all in a auto layout, but notice how it isn't scaling with the parent frame. So what we're gonna do is select all of our columns um, and we're gonna make sure that this is filling the container. So now, as you see it, it is uh, fully responsive. Uh, so it responds down. Um, but now let's say that you, you have a situation in which you want the horizontal scrolling. Let's say it's a big screen size. So what you can do there is we're gonna actually just uh, take this first column out. And now we have this column and then we have our table. So this is our first column and it's in a different frame, just in the column frame. And then we have the table that has all of these. Um, and now we're going to select both of them and we're just gonna put a uh, frame selection around them. So it is an auto layout, it's just a frame selection. Um, and then we're gonna click Command as we drag this in and make sure it is clipping content. So now as you see, um, the frame dictates what is revealed. So let's, let's do auto layout right to there. Um, so now we're gonna preview this in the prototype. 
Um, we're going to uh, open up the prototype by clicking this uh, uh, present button. And notice it's just there is no background. So that's the first thing we want to change. We are going to go back to design and just make sure this parent frame has a white background. Um, so let's look at it now. It looks good, but it's not scrolling. So let's go back to prototype and let's make sure that this is going to scroll horizontally. And so now it's scrolling, but let's say we want to lock that first column because usually the first column is a key identifier of the other data that is shown. So on this very small screen size, we want this first column to be fixed. So in order to do that, um, from a prototype standpoint, we're going to click fix stay in place. So I'm selecting this column and we're making sure it is going to stay in place. Uh, so now as you see it, things are uh, scrolling. But what we want to do is we actually don't want that uh, white background here. We can just get rid of it. And what we're going to do is select um, the column. So the first column and then this table. And we're going to make sure that this actually has the white background. So uh, now it looks a, a bit better. Um, but let's add one more distinguishing feature, which is going to be an effect we're going to do. Let's So you have access to all of these um, uh, shadows. So we're going to do, let's do large. Um, and so now notice that there's that little shadow. Uh, so now we're going to go back here and that, that looks a lot better. So you have that fixed first column and all the other columns scroll underneath it. Um, so that looks good. One last thing to do, totally optional here, but let's make it so this first column, it doesn't have that drop shadow, uh, the shadow until you start to scroll. So a way to get close to that from a prototyping standpoint, let's just duplicate this. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the shadow here. So that's gone. And then we're going to go to prototype with the first one clicked and we're going to have it navigate here and we're just going to do while hovering. Um, I wish you could do one when scrolling, but uh, I'm sure there's a way to do it. Please in, in the comments below, let me know. But while hovering gives uh, a pretty good effect. Um, and then we're going to have this go back. Um, actually, yeah, mouse leave. Yeah. Okay. So now let's look at what we have here. Make sure this is the one that's being presented, the first one. Um, so we have it, that looks great. And now when I scroll, really when my mouse enters, that, that comes up, that looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of like how this turned out. You can imagine how you could present this to an engineer or your team. Um, and you could really show that effect of what you desire uh, from building out your tables. So that is how you create a very basic table with the uh, Forms and Tables basic design system. And uh, following videos, I'll get more in depth about how to customize the different cells um, and add uh, different things within them to uh, create very robust, awesome looking tables. So thank you.